Okay, uh, this practical is to determine uh, fat content of milk powder sample. We are going to use a rose coat lip method for that. This is a kind of partition photography method. Okay, first of all, uh, we need to measure about uh, 2 grams of 2 grams of the given milk powder sample. After that, you have to dissolve this milk powder in warm distilled water. Okay, when you when you dissolve in this in uh, water, you have to make sure that uh, uh, you have to avoid the clump formation, and you have to mix that well. After uh, this has Mix well, you have to add uh, concentrated ammonia, 1 milliliter of, one milliliter of concentrated ammonia to this uh, milk, dissolved milk powder sample. Okay. When you are handling ammonia, you know that uh, ammonia has a very un unpleasant order and it's better to uh, bear up mass. After that also you have to mix the content well. After this has uh, mixed well, you have to add uh, 10 milliliters of ethanol. Again, you have to uh, mix the content well. After that, you have to uh, add this uh, dissolved milk powder sample into a separating funnel. Okay. So, uh, before you add in this to the separating panel, you have to make sure that uh, the tap of the separating panel is well closed.
for that you can use the funnel and it's okay to use a few distilled water to add the sample to the separate in funnel properly okay after that you have to add 25 ml of diethyl ether You know that you know that the diesel is also highly volatile and highly recommend to you wear a mask when you performing this experiment. After adding uh, diesel ether, we have to. Uh, mix the trend end in the separating funnel uh, properly and when you are uh, mixing that you have to make sure that you are releasing the pressure uh, the uh, uh, well pressure uh, can be developed in this separating funnel and while you are mixing you have to release the pressure uh, if not this uh, top can pop out You have to mix the content for about uh, one minute. After that, you have to place it in a uh, standing position and allow it to separate the uh, two layers. Okay, then you have to keep this in uh, about 30 minutes until two layers get separated, and uh, if uh, an emulsion is formed. You have to break that first. You have to uh, you have to try to physically break the emulsion using a glass rod. If there is any uh, emulsion in between the two layers, and uh, if we cannot break the emulsion physically, we have to try uh, with some solvents. Okay. Then if the emulsion is in the uh, aqueous layer, you have to add little amount of ethanol and if the emulsion is in the uh, organic layer you can add a little amount of sodium chloride and break the emulsion otherwise you cannot uh, distinguish the two layers and we are uh, after uh, the separation we have to separate the two layers organic layer, organic layer and the aqueous layer okay okay now you can see the two layers uh, uh, how get separated then uh, you can uh, 
uh, separate the layers and uh, what what is the aqueous layer here if you do not know uh, what is the aqueous layer and what is what will be the organic layer you can uh, do this simple uh, thing if you add a water drop to this as you can see the water drop has uh, gone to the bottom layer it means the uh, bottom layer is the aqueous layer that is quite obvious because the, the uh, uh, density of aqueous layer is higher than that of organic layer so that is in the bottom layer and all the uh, fat uh, in the milk powder has separated into the uh, organic layer okay then the extraction effici efficiency is not depend on the volume we use uh, it, for the extraction it means the diethyl ether or the petroleum ether or the organic solvent but the number of extraction time okay then after you uh, get separated the aqueous layer you have to do this extraction for uh, uh, another three times or four times to increase the extraction efficiency okay now you can separate the two layers First, uh, I am separating the aqueous layer.
Okay, then as you can see, uh, I have separated the aqueous layer and the remaining top uh, layer is the uh, ovonic layer and I am going to collect that to a conical glass. Okay, then after uh, doing the first separation, we have separated the uh, aqueous layer and we have to do the same procedure for at least three times using the petroleum meter. Uh, after we completed the uh, extraction with the uh, petroleum meter, we can go the extraction, we can proceed the extraction with the diethyl liquor. Okay. We have to practice the same procedure. I am going to take about 25 milliliters of uh, diethyl liquor. And uh, add into the separating funnel. and uh, vigorously shaking this for about one minute. We can do this to uh, using uh, other way also. We can release the pressure using uh, opening this tap. Okay, in the first uh, uh, procedure, I have used the other way. Okay, after we just shake, uh, shaking this, we have to place this in a standing position to uh, until layers get separated for about uh, 30 minutes, and make, we have to make sure that uh, the tap is tap is closed. Okay, now you can see the uh, layers get separated clearly. Uh, after that, we have to separate the ovonic layer and the aqueous layer. We have first of all we have to uh, separate the bottom aqueous layer. As I mentioned earlier the extraction efficiency uh, depends on the number of uh, extraction and it is uh, recommended to continue this extraction uh, for at least about three times. Okay, now I have separated the excess layer and you can separate uh, the uh, remaining fat uh, in this excess uh, layer again with uh, 25 milliliters or 12.5 milliliters diethyl liter for at least about uh, three times. Okay, and I'm going to collect the organic layer to this. Okay, after each extraction, we have separated uh, the organic layer into a conical glass and 
here what we have now. Okay. Then uh, after uh, the separation has completed, you have to uh, dry. You have to uh, dry the organic layer over anhydrous magnesium sulfate. Okay. For that, I am going to take a little amount of magnesium sulfate and add it here and uh, I'm going I'm going to collect the organic uh, solvent into a pre-weight evaporating dish. The purpose of uh, using magnesium sulfate is that uh, if there is any uh, aqueous uh, remaining parts in this organic solvent, it can remain with magnesium sulfate. Magnesium sulfate can bind uh, about seven water molecules. Then, uh, if there is uh, any water remaining in this, uh, the separated organic layer it can uh, remove Okay. Now we have uh, the organic uh, solvent the, with the fat uh, extracted to that and uh, in the pre-weight evaporating dish. And if we place this evaporating dish uh, uh, on a water bath, we can uh, uh, evaporate or remove organic solvent and the remaining part is the fat that is in the uh, milk powder.